Our next speaker is the head of the Swiss Contribution Office in Bulgaria, Mr. Roland Piton. We have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Ambassador Tretkova. First, what matters for Switzerland in the Western Balkans? Development, stability. Therefore, the main objective for Switzerland cooperation with the state of the Western Balkans, more democracy, and a functioning market economy from one side, conflict prevention, social cohesion and inclusion. So we have an annual budget of 10 million euro for bilateral cooperation that focus mainly on governance, economic development, infrastructure, health and migration partnership for all countries of the regions. So what are the Swiss uh, interest and motivation for this cooperation? First, solidarity. Everybody must have the opportunity to live in decent life. First, or second, also the region's geographical proximity, what happens there affects Switzerland. And also the diaspora in Switzerland, which reinforces interest. So we think that our strength uh, is a long-term Switzerland active uh, and flexible involvement in the region, starting immediately after the collapse of the Soviet Union and the break of, uh, breakup of uh, Yugoslavia. In first, bilateral cooperation, without discontinuity over 25 years. In humanitarian operation during the war, which is what needed, in welcoming over 3,000 migrants from the regions, also in the peacekeeping mission under the command of the NATO, in regional initiative, for example, within the Stability Pact for Southeastern Europe, initiative from the EU, also um, politically, as uh, early advocacy for the independence of Kosovo, perceived as the condition for stability. So, with all this long-term commitment, I think Switzerland gained knowledge and trust, which are very important conditions to work on governance in the region. So today, what is today? Today we have in Switzerland 270,000 foreign, foreigners living in Switzerland come from the former Yugoslavia, including one of the 10,000 Kosovo. Making investment, making business, uh, also boosting the import from Kosovo. So we have uh, Shakiri, Jemaili, Berami, they are the biggest stars of the Swiss national football team, the binational players. And there is a consensus even in Switzerland that only since then our national team started to win. So not a small impact. So now, I want to focus more on the topic, democracy, that delivers the topic of this today. So for us, the how is as important as the what. The process is as important as the objective. So democracy is a good governance, which is expressed, which is lived when political decisions are taken for the people with the people. So I will highlight now only uh, two important aspects, but pragmatic aspects uh, on the Swiss uh, development uh, and cooperation uh, support in the West, Western Balkans. First, civic participation and civil society development. And second, strengthening good governance at the municipal level. We think that um, this should ensure that public services are geared to local needs. So we want to bring decisions closer to the citizens. So first, concretely, making citizens' participation possible at local level. So citizens should be invited to play a genuine part in public affairs. Their consent should be taken seriously. So finally, they have to grasp the power to make it clear. So we support process such as communication, transparent communication between municipalities and the public, also formal consultation procedures, for example, inclusion of citizens in drawing up the municipal budget, organizing also a municipal forums on topics specialized where uh, stakeholders are grouped and discuss and come with a position that after uh, uh, the objective is to reach a consens consensual solution. And also, of course, cooperation with the, uh, between municipalities and civil society organizations. Uh, that is uh, making participation possible. It's about the citizens. Of course, the next level is strengthening the civil society, developing the NGO sector that was already mentioned this uh, morning many times. I don't want to develop, 
but citizens are stronger when they are organized. So it's not only about service providers, it's about advocating, defending citizens' rights, promoting public interest, and also watchdog uh, to make government accountable and monitoring public performance. So we want to create, create with them also a vibrant, inclusive society. So that's about the citizen civil uh, society organization. What was not maybe mentioned too much this morning was about the municipal level, giving priority to the local level. Of course, it's also based on our functioning in Switzerland. So decentralized uh, state structure helps the process of democratization, where, uh, where we think that um, governments in direct contact with citizens, they make government more accountable and citizens more demanding for transparency and efficiency, which was very important for good governance. So in this respect, we support capacity building in municipal council, administration, mayor, to understand their function, getting necessary competencies in getting proper resource. Also, we support the strategic planning in the development, for example, in the, in the, the waste management. Also, to improve a transparency and capacity to plan municipal finance, to draw plans, to institutionalize also cooperation between municipalities. And also, we support the legislature. I mean, for example, a project with we have a parliamentary institute that uh, member of the parliament from local but also national, they can go access uh, to information. They can ask to be process some process some data for them to find the right argument to defend the interest of the public. Last one is about the network of association of local authorities in house in uh, southeast Europe, the NALAS, that was initiated in the frame of the stability. Uh, pact. Um, this network comprises 16 national, local authority associations from all the countries of East, southeastern Europe, and they represent about 9,000 local authorities, municipalities. So this NALAS they make uh, a major contribution also to regional cooperation and political stability. It's an important source of information for local authorities associations. And also, the NALAS works with central government and EU with the aim of ensuring that the greater consultation of municipalities in the EU enlargement process because, because it's important, more than 80% of the reform being carried out in connection with EU accession, for example, waste, uh, water, etc., will be implemented by the municipalities. So this uh, focus is for us also very important. So to conclude, we have Multi-partners, so SDC is working with very different partners from the uh, municipalities, local uh, ministries, standing conference of the town and municipality of Serbia, like association of municipalities, civil society, ministries. So for us, it's extremely important to diversify our partnership. So we uh, take into account efficiency and legitimacy of all these uh, these institutions, and uh, we, for us, it's also important to have a strong presence in the country. So we closely monitor all the projects we contribute to with a large team on the spot. We follow the context, we follow the project. We have office in each country with strong local team to see what is done with our contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>